In today's video, I'm gonna teach you a range of helpful gestures on how to get the most out of the trackpad on your MacBook. Of course, if you do like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you're in supercharged ways to your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. With that being said, let's jump into this. So the first gestures and controls I'm gonna teach you are of course the most basic, which is doing a single select on your trackpad, and that's just clicking anywhere to select one item on your computer. Of course, if you wanna select multiple items, you can press and hold with your thumb most likely, and then while you're holding with your thumb, drag down to select multiple items, and this will select you, or allow you to select a range of things on your computer. Um, and then of course, you can do a right click by doing a two finger tap anywhere on your trackpad, and that will cause a right click action. Um, and then of course, if you double click on something, it will open up that program or that document. When you're in a program like Google Chrome, you can of course have a quick uh, peek of your desktop by simply doing a four finger gesture open on the trackpad by having all four fingers on your trackpad and then opening up and that will bring you straight to your desktop and then four fingers again to close it will bring you back to the program that you're, that you're working on. So four fingers open like this will show you your desktop, four fingers close on your trackpad will bring you back to the program and four fingers closed again will bring you into all your applications and your programs. And again, four fingers open will take you back to the program that you are on. If you do a three finger swipe up, this will show you all the programs that you have open. And then of course, it gives you the option of having multiple desktops up the top here as well. So three fingers up will bring this option up and then three fingers back down or simply selecting anywhere will remove that option. If you press three fingers up and then you can choose to add multiple desktops here, you can of course jump between the desktops by of course swiping up and selecting on the desktop that you're after, or you can do a three finger to the left or to the right gesture, and that will allow you to swipe in between your different desktops. If you wanted to zoom in on anything uh, that you're looking at, you can of course do a two p two finger pinch to zoom in or two finger pinch to zoom out. So if I wanted to zoom in on Google, for example, I'm gonna hover my mouse over the word here and then two fingers, just going to drag them apart. That's gonna allow me to zoom in and then I'm gonna pinch them together to zoom back out. So it's really quite handy as well. If you wanted to have a look at your action sensor on the right hand side, or you, you can of course select on the uh, date in the top right hand corner or you can do a two finger swipe on the right hand side of the trackpad and that will bring this option up and then swipe anywhere to push it away. So I like to think of it just basically walking two fingers onto your trackpad and then either selecting anywhere to disappear or you can use two fingers to swipe it away. If you wanted to customize any of your trackpad settings, you go into the top left hand corner in the Apple symbol, scroll down to where it says system settings and then in the search option here, we're simply just gonna type in the word trackpad. And then you can see you have trackpad and trackpad gestures. I'm gonna select on trackpad gesture. And then this will allow you to do things like change the speed and the click of your trackpad. If you select on the scroll and zoom, you can choose whether you wanna have natural scrolling. So two fingers to swipe up or two fingers to swipe down. The zooming in and out, whether you wanna have this turned on and off. Um, a double tap, so the smart tap, and then of course rotation, which I didn't show you, but that's using two fingers to rotate an image, such as if you're in PowerPoint or Word. Um, and then if you go into the more gestures, you can actually uh, choose and customize which gestures you want to have on and which gestures you want to have off as well. And there you have it. That is a range of helpful gestures, tips and tricks on your Mac trackpad. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving a thumbs up. And if you're in a supercharged way as your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching. And of course, we'll see you next time. Bye.